Hi guys, it's me, Susan. Happy Halloween. It's October 31st, 2014. This is Cruising with Susan. Thank you for joining me. Um, Jolie is here too. You may see her wandering about. I'm standing here sort of in my, by my front door just in case some more uh, kids come. Um, although I'll have to push Jolie outside because she scares the diapers off of them. Uh, <laughs> they're kind of fascinated and terrified at the same time. So I I tend to, uh, she gets quite exuberant, so I tend to keep her in the other room when, when I'm answering the door. I'm trying to get rid of all my candy because uh, the only downside, it's kind of an upside but then a downside very quickly of Halloween for me is that I get the candy like ahead of time <laughs> and then I start eating it. In fact, I ate so much. I didn't get that much because we don't have that many kids that come in my neighborhood, but uh, I ate so much I had to go buy more. I didn't eat it all up, but I was afraid I wouldn't have enough, so then I bought more and then I had more to eat. So the kids come and I'm saying, please take a handful, um, spare me, save me from myself. Uh, but anyway, I had a couple of things I wanted to tell you about tonight. Um, the first one is that yesterday was turned out what turned out to be my final visit with my orthopedic surgeon. Um, who's been following me since my uh, my accident, my broken hip in March, and I hadn't seen him for three months, and he was real happy. He looked at, he took an X-ray, but also watched me walk, and uh, tested my legs for strength. And he said, uh, "You're good. You're good as new, and uh, you're not even limping, which is really cool because he had sort of warned me that I might. Um, I do sometimes. I hitch a little bit sometimes, but it's really not bad. I decided not to. He suggested getting a an insert for my shoe because my leg is a little bit shorter now than the other one and I decided it was only a quarter inch uh, heel lift I decided not to mess with that and just and just try to you know deal with it so anyway but the real exciting thing that happened in the uh, in the meeting was uh, he asked me at one point so you're gonna ski again because skiing was the uh, what I was doing at the time I broke my hip and uh, I said, no, I don't really care about skiing. You know, I was just a beginner. I was doing it to be with my grandson. Um, uh, but it's horseback riding that really breaks my heart. And he said, what are you talking about? And I said, well, since, it's, since I have osteoporosis, you know, I, I, I have been told to restrict my activities that might increase my chances of falling because I could break another bone and I certainly don't want to do that. And he said, well... That's really a philosophical question. And I said, what, what do you mean by that? And he goes, uh, well, you could wrap yourself in bubble wrap. You could um, stay in your house. You could never do uh, things that might have some risk involved um, because you're afraid of breaking a bone. And what would be the trade-off for that? It seems to me that um, you might need to trust your own judgment about what you can do and what you can't do um, use reasonable caution, but live your life. Don't, don't not do things that you love because you're afraid. And uh, I thought, well, I said, I love you. You are, you're my hero. I, I, you know, I could have come to that conclusion myself, but I really feel better having heard him say it, although I'm sure I could have found a doctor who would have said the opposite. Um, because it just felt like sort of, okay, that's a reasonable, rational way to be. It's not like I want to jump uh, horses or um, even jump out of airplanes anymore. I've, I've already been there and done that. I don't want to do high-risk sports, but and, and walking, or, uh, walking on, a, on horseback is not automatically a high-risk sport, although some of them can get spooked, you know, by anything. But... Um, I don't think, I mean, I think you can, you, you can know the uh, temperament and personality of a horse to know how likely they are to get spooked. You can do due diligence and make sure that you're not taking a stupid risk. And uh, so I, I was just really thrilled by that. It sort of, it just sort of reopened a lot of possibilities for me as far as um, choices. And really it was the horseback riding that was the only thing that was really killing me to think about and even with that, I had decided, okay, so I'll just be around them. I can't sit on their backs, but I can, um, I can uh, groom them. I can uh, smell them. I can snuggle up with them. I went uh, last weekend. I went to visit a horse rescue ranch, and um, 
uh, made a donation and I'm going to go back and she's going to help me pick out uh, a horse that's, that. well the horse is going to pick me, we're going to pick each other that I'm going to uh, sponsor and then um, I, I told her I, it's unlikely that I'm going to have a setup in the future where I can actually have a horse because you have to be there every day. Um, I mean maybe that'll happen but it's certainly not in, not in the immediate future. Um, so I'll just come out here and visit uh, out to the horse ranch and visit uh, my horse. So we haven't picked who that is yet. There's a couple of uh, there's a couple of uh, candidates that I'm going to go back and visit some more. But now I can now I can pick one that maybe at some point I can actually ride. So I'm really really happy about that. Now the uh, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about was this article that I came across and I liked it so well that I'm I'm going to contact the author and see if I can get reprints and start start giving them out to people that I work with in my practice and uh, I recommend it to you also. Um, to me it is the perfect balance. Uh, it's like how I look at things. It's a balance of understanding and respecting your history, your past, the things that have happened to you. They have had an impact on you but at the same time if you don't figure out how to move forward and how to release some of those, the emotions, the negative emotions that can get tied up by anger and um, resentment and revenge or uh, woundedness that can get tied up with those, those, uh, those things that have happened in the past, you, you, you throw away your, your present, you throw away your future because you're not living, you're just reliving. Um, and uh, so the, uh, the magazine is Psychology Today, which I highly recommend if you want to get a subscription. It comes out every two months. It's uh, it, it, very, very impressive what they're doing with it these days. It's the December issue. I, I think you can see here, Let It Go. Here, that's the cover. Here's the article, Let It Go. Okay, it's by Judith Sills, um, a psychologist. It is so readable. It's so spot on. I, I think that you should uh, consider the next time you go to the grocery store or anywhere where they sell magazines to uh, buy the December issue of Psychology Today. Um, it, it, unless you're not stuck, you know, if you're, if you're happy and everything's uh, rocking along smoothly, you might not uh, want to mess with it. But um, certainly for myself, it's been, it, it mirrors the process that I've been going through. I think that I have in some ways been stuck, stuck in um, needing validation, stuck in that, uh, that whole shame pit that I've been talking about with you lately. And um, I, uh, I really feel so uh, freed up uh, from, from, from that stuckness that it's very exciting to me to see an article like this that just captures it perfectly. And uh, I, I want to share that with you. Okay, um, so um, I, this is, that's it. I'm going to try to shorten these things because they're getting longer and longer and I think I'm losing my, <laughs> I think it's hard to watch for that many minutes. Um, my next project coming up is to make my video. I'm making a video of myself uh, conducting a little group of my friends and I'm going to make that as a promotional, self-promotional video that I send out to cruise lines to see if they want to hire me uh, on a freelance basis to run little, uh, run little uh, groups, kind of, I don't know, little entertaining sort of uh, whatever, visiting groups for, uh, for uh, well, some for women, some for uh, maybe for teens, some for couples, but it's probably going to mostly be women because they're the one, women love to talk, I love to talk. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm planning to make that this Friday. I've already had some, some nervous feelings, some feelings of I'm not good enough and stuff that kind of trying to kind of pop up and make it hard for me, but I'm, uh, I'm working with all of those. I'll report that to you and I'm going to post it online as well, the video that I make so you can see the results of my efforts. Okay, so in the meantime, I uh, hope you had a happy, happy Halloween and uh, please remember to live well, laugh often, love much, boo, <laughs> and I will see you next time on Cruising with Susan. Okay, bye.